So this is the exact same question that we had earlier. I just changed the numbers around a little bit so we can get more practice doing this kind of problem. So just remember that the formula, and the formulas is what's going to be the hardest to remember. So if you can just memorize the formulas and know when to use them when it's asking for the body surface area, you'll be very well set. Okay. So the formula, I'm just going to go ahead and write at the formula again. So the formula is going to be the child's BSA, okay, the child's BSA over the constant 1.73, and then you multiply that by the adult dose, by the adult dose. And when you do that, that's going to give you the child dose. I'm just going to put CD for lack of space, but CD is child dose, okay? So, if the dosing for medication is 45 milligrams per meter squared, and the dose is intended for a child with a BSA of 1.25 meters squared, how many milligrams are in one dose? So, BSA, we know that the child's BSA is 1.25. So, we're going to go ahead and put the 1.25 meters squared over the 1.73 multiply that by the 45 milligrams because that's going to be the dosing for the medication. So that's going to be the standard dosing for an adult patient. And then when we multiply that out, we're going to have 1.25 1.25 divided by 1.73 multiplied by 45 and that's going to give us 32.5 milligrams. Okay, 32.5 milligrams. Now, I'm just going to throw in a couple, few other things. So, how many grams is that? So, if we convert that to grams, that's going to be, we're going to move it over three spots. One, two, three. So, grams, it's going to be 0 0.0325 grams. All right. Now, let's say that there is going to be, the strength is going to be, 15 milligrams per 10 mLs. Okay, so 15 milligrams per 10 mLs. So every 10 mLs, there's going to be 15 milligrams. How many milliliters are you going to need to fulfill that request? So if you put the 32.5 here, 32.5 milligrams, because remember, the units need to be on the same side. So you have the milligrams that are both on the numerator and then the milliliters that are both on the denominator. So when you cross multiply and divide, that'll give you 10 times 32.5 divided by 15, and that's going to give you 21.6 or 21.7 milliliters. So that's how many milliliters they would need. And so they're going to need that many milliliters if there's going to be 15 milligrams in a 10 ml, do 10 ml dose. And so I hope you have a good understanding on this. If you don't, feel free to email me or ask me a question. Um, and yeah, good luck.